Hey everyone, Dipon here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 109 here. I'm trying to get into the, a woods raid real quick with this sniper rifle before it gets too dark out. It might even be already too dark out, but we'll give it a shot and uh, hope we can get another SVDS from Sturman or crew, but also get these markers down. And then we'll probably do nighttime customs with a flashlight um, and then we'll uh, go from there. See y'all on raid. All right, here we go. Which I'm keeping, keeping loosely a surprise. Oh, I forgot I turned this way up. Shoot. Uh, where am I gaming? Oh, boy. The wind in my ears was like... You know, I was like... Ugh. I like the game with loud noises, but... I, I, would want, I want to have my hearing when I'm 50, you know? Yeah, so we're looking at the level sniper, so and we're also looking we, we accepted some dailies, so we're looking for 20 meter plus scab kills. Which should be shouldn't be a problem. Um I actually quite like this scope for sniping on longer range maps. It's it's pretty good. Like you can see somebody's soul, but also you can scan with a 3x, which is nice. Got all the pine needles out of the PC case. Yeah, long gone are the days where I would get pine needles in the PC case, but yeah. It really is wild to me how much the open top ventilation system for the CPU. Because what I have of a liquid cooler on there that vents it to the top. How much more dust gets in the cases. I mean, it makes sense at the end of the day because dust settles like that, but like... The, the gaming PC was wildly wildly more dirty than the uh streaming pc which does not have that system they have it just has the in the front out the back system so it is interesting though we do have this key here there can, there can be fuel spawns i'm gonna head this way first though well, how are you doing today dark cryptid it's good to see you good to see you One of the best investments I ever made was a uh, a PC, like, handheld blower. So I have to use that as aerosol cans. Those are terrible. Um, yeah. It's really, really handy. It's like It was like 60 bucks or something like that, 50 bucks. And I've used it for five years now. So not only is it just better for everything in general, but it's also, like... Save me a ton of money in the long run. Oh, come on now. And I've used it for other things that just cleaning my PCs as well. It's nice to have a little little mini air compressor. Why can't I get up here on this? There we go. Have a little mini air compressor. Does a lot of work. Offer oh, your soul. One of eight for therapist. Also, just leveling sniper skill. Which I could do this whole reload thing, but honestly, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I know it's the, like, consistent way of getting your sniper skill leveled up. But it's so annoying to do. Those air blows are great. I use mine for so much. Yeah, yeah, they, they have so many practical, practical things. Even something as simple as... And I know, like, a leaf blower would be good for here, but, like, my back patio is only, like, six foot by six foot. Just getting some pine needles off of that, it worked beautifully. Because there's an outlet out there, so it's just, like, done. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, though. It's a little bit too strong for the keyboard. And really, realistically, to clean the keyboard, it's a lot easier to, um... I think it's a lot easier to just pop all the keys off, you know, soak them in some sort of cleaning solution, wipe them off individually, then pop them back on, you know, wipe off the keyboard, then, you know, pop them back on, which I need to do that soon, you know, relatively soon as well. So. There should be some scavs over here. I usually start spawning in that house behind you.
Macar guy, I always use my car to get rid of the water so water doesn't leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that'll work. Yeah, use it to blow up the water so they don't doesn't leave the spots. I am not a car guy. My car is paid off and functional. And that's how I like it. <laughs> but all the respect to those who, you know, take care of their favorite possessions. As they should, right? I do need to... Mine's got a ton of pollen on it. I need to take it through a car wash. I need to clean out the interior as well. I, I bet you that vacuum does great on the interior. Alright, let's go plant this marker. That's what we're loosely working on as well. I say loosely, that's what we're working on as well. There it is. It's Friday morning right now, so I'm not expecting too much activity. But I was, you know. Don't don't plant again. Search, please. Ooh, lunch. What's that? That weird sight. Okay. Let's hope there'd be like one more scab over by truck. Is that a scab? No, nope, that's a light. <clears throat> I'm got to start using this scope more. I, I wonder if it's expensive. Ah, shoot! I forgot to run ads before the raid. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Twitch chat. Uh, I'm gonna run them now because I can't use these enough to before the raid. It's done. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, YouTube. You're still here. By the basis of your median ads, pause the video. Which is really nice. Oh, that's nice. We do have that, uh, these are both pretty good as well. We do have the, um, that TX-15's chillin', uh, which is nice. Ooh, that's a good one. The M4 that we bartered for, that just goes right on to, which is super convenient. What, um, what's your favorite thing about the cars you have? Holy tear. Or, like, what cars do you have? Let's go check the mark circle just because of the, um, the sodium and the jacket there. Now, they said, according to a Pestley video I watched, and I had no idea what was going on with that, but according to that video, all the marked room loot has been buffed. So we might have a higher chance of getting into a marked room, which would be kind of cool. Uh, for customs. Yeah, apparently they buffed some of that stuff. Didn't put a, uh, laser on this. Okay, as we don't need to miss anything, we just looted the mark circle. Armor repair kit. I, it could <laughs> blend it in with the shelves. Uh, I don't think we actually need that. We have one already. I know they're worth a ton, but well, this is very full, huh? Interesting. 
Huh. What if we just did that? Ooh, pineapple juice. It's a scavy boy. I don't need those either. Care for PSO. All that said, we're actually kind of short on 9 mil right now. Love my WRX and having a car with a turbo. And one of my dream cars uh, in the near future, I plan on to build the WRX STI uh, and track race it with a friend when he finishes his car. That's awesome. I just don't know how to work on cars. That's, no, that's really cool. Well, good on you. And best of luck. I hope you win. Is this the... That is the... Easy to kit AK thing. Put you back on four, seven. Uh, eight, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Heck yeah. Well, obviously, we'll be a little overweight here with the all the... Uh, Extra armor here. And it also just came back to the game. I can say yes, at least on reserve. Out of the 20 uses on the RBVO and RBBK, every two to three uses, I got some kind of case and a ton of guns. Oh, interesting. Because we have one of the uh, marked rooms, or we have one of the reserve marked rooms. That's pretty cool. Ooh. It's actually really handy for this Glock. Hear that scav? I don't see that scav. I don't hate those on SVDSs. Goodness. Armor much? <clears throat> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I just like shooting the Glocks. That was, it was really just an excuse to shoot more Glock bullets. Probably. I'm also going to blame it on the weight. We're overweight, therefore it's harder to shoot. Also, it pays me that you dropped the armor kit. I know, I know. It's, I know it's going to pay, pay a lot of people that I dropped the armor kit. They're so valuable. I think they're actually decently valuable to dealers as well. I just don't need the money, you know. Well, that's a nice one. Happy I did die for that. Oops. Did I see the craziness that Gingy did, Gingy did last week for her tracksuit? I did not. I saw that she was grinding for the tracksuit in her titles, but I didn't have a chance to watch. I guess I, I, guess I should have grabbed all that PSO. It's better than no bullets, right? I have the shotgun, though. Wash crackers. No worries, HC. Fifty four kilo here. At least we get a good strength leveling. Isn't this spawn open? Maybe not, actually. Always want those. I don't know if we always want those, but they're fine. Damn, 
really full crates here, huh? Kite, RFB, was that a gun? I mean, I don't want any of that, but like, it's still really full. It's cool. I will absolutely take an extra one of those. Absolutely. Yep. These are our contact barters. She got 100 kills in six days. She made Kill look like a regular scav and then had someone donate to delete two accounts worth of stashes. And Kappa, she was allowed to keep the tracksuit, though. Interesting. <laughs> wow. I think I only got 100 kills in six days. I, d I Sorry, I did see one of the... Maybe it was a clip. Maybe I popped in at one point. I saw that she was... Um, and this is super smart, by the way. Uh, taking in a bunch of the cheapest smoke grenades you could. And then popping them and throwing them upstairs to check for kill of voice lines. Like, that's so smart. So you just got, like, the, the you know, the fastest run through of the of the map really smart I do almost feel like uh, smokes are underutilized in Tarkov almost not quite though How did she make kill look like a regular scab, though? Oh, just by, like, killing him over and over again? There's a way to tell if he's on the map by packet loss around the 38-minute mark. Is, is there really? That's hysterical. I wonder if that works for the other bosses as well. Because I get, I get random packet losses at start of maps. I thought it was just like a, every time you load into a raid, you're going to get a little packet loss. But if like that, that packet loss is like a boss loading in or scavs loading in or something like that. That's wild. It does work on Sherman. Because I have that. I don't think I've had packet losses this game and he's not here. So it makes sense. They did just update today, though. They did just update today. And, like, you know, Battle State watches Jinji. Kill his gear too heavy to load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would just sit there and she see which one she would just uh, wanted with the pack loss. She would just leave the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the only two I know of for sure. Gotcha. It's cool. I, I think I kind of want to go check the lead X here. But what I think I want to do... Is do a little uh, gear drop off. So I'm kind of lighter on my feet. I can loot a little faster. How much time do we have here? 21 minutes? Plenty of time. Moose guy! With that Prime Gaming. Thank you so much for supporting the content with your Prime. Woot. Pine, sip, pine, heart, pine, heart. Such an amazing way to support the content. I really appreciate you. There's so many Tarcolas. I'll take it. What I'm hoping is that um, RUAF will be open. I can drop my stuff off over there. Then we can come back here. Maybe do some snipes and then come back over here. Loot forward operating base and then we can work it out. Because I have plenty of room. I just am really heavy. Because of the double armors. Getting stamina back. Should be able to make it almost up the hill here on this one sprint. Our strength and endurance are pretty high, which is nice. Not quite. I 
And as annoying as this is, we might as well top up a little bit of this as well. In case we're not getting any more hits today. It's not much, but... Get the job done. And if this isn't open, I'm just going to leave. Still at 129%. That's because I think it's been three minutes. I do like to have that reset time. So you can kind of grind out skills. Or 3.9 out of 50. So it's going to take a bit. Alright, it's not open. So we're, we're just going to loot here and then leave. Um, I just don't feel like... Magpieing that direction. Oh, this is already looted too. Happily take all of those. Let's see, if people are leaving behind sodiums. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, this is a smoke these days. So there was somebody else on the map, whether it be player scav or player. I do not know. Oh, man. I really gotta use the bathroom, too. I can hold it in until we get to this end. <laughs> too much coffee. Too much coffee. I think it's overall faster just to walk it. Usually. I think I'll, just, I'll, I'll walk to where I can try and loot the cache, and then we'll try to get some stand back on the cache. Heck yeah, HC. It's always good to have you have you in the chat, you know? I'm really looking forward to the next wipe. I, really, I genuinely am. I think we're going to try to full-time Tarkov for, like, a, at least a month, if not a couple weeks. It'll be awkward timing coming back from travel, but, like, I don't know. I know that's not the wisest decision, but it's also kind of what I'm in the... I mean, it's what I'm in the mood for right now. Obviously, this is two months out. So. Moods can change. Uh, that does craft, right? Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room in here. Alright, since we're not going to shoot anything else, unfortunately, we got to do this. Now I'm just running. I don't know if that was just my gun coming out and hitting a bush. It very easily could have been. Ah, that's what it was. It was my gun coming out. Okay. It made a sound on the left-hand side. Also, for the next wipe, I played like the first three weeks of this wipe and then stopped playing. Yeah, yeah. That's no Taking off a wipe, I think, is actually really smart at this stage of the game development. I genuinely think it is. Like, I've never been so refreshed on a game. It also did two things for me, because, like, I also full-timed this for, like, five months when I was burnt out on Minecraft. Never felt so refreshed on Minecraft, so taking breaks from a game is definitely good. Even if you still enjoy that game, right? Because at the end of the day, the gameplay loop is very much the same with all the tasks and stuff until they introduce new stuff and different things to do and all that. So... Beals above. Thank you so much for that 29 month resubmarino. I really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. Let's get some love and hype in the chat, please. K 
Okay, well, maybe not the cleanest woods raid in the world. But once we're out here, I'm actually going to pause the YouTube because I really got to use the bathroom. Okay, we're out. Cool. See you in a tick. All right, much better. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> that was a nice one. <laughs> uh, classic. All right, so it's going to be nighttime. It's going to be nighttime. We could go back to woods. We could go back to woods. Honestly, woods with like NVGs and an SMG for nighttime and just going close quarters inside of uh, inside of lumber is not terrible at all. Hmm. Could also use this guy. But I, I, I really don't. Or like an, even just an MDR, right? I think I might set that up. I think I might set that up. Got another shotgun as well. Which is really good. So save that. Save that. Put that back there. I actually really like that scope. That scope did did work. That scope did work. I don't think that actually is going to be relevant for very much. Alright, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to... I don't have a... You know, we're going to have to do the MDR because I, I think I'm just running out of bullets in general. Um, actually, what we could do... Hmm. Actually, hold on. What we could do here... Because I have a lot of um, 545 bullets. We could, like, barter for something 545 related, like this guy. It's not terrible. Thanks. Because we really don't have enough 9 mil for this at the end of the day. Hmm. What do you have, barters wise? Because we really could kit basically everything here. Like, that's such a free kit out. We do have that barter as well, which is good. Shroom, KS. That's not terrible either. Uh, I might do this. I might do this and see how it goes. What's up, Tate Man? Bears witness to the Almighty. Oh, you got it, Tate Man. Nice. Congrats. I I forgot they still did that. Let's go. All right, I'm going to get this uh, this junk organized here um, and then unpause when we're ready to kit out the gun. All right, we're cleaning up a little bit. Let's do the thing. Use our Apollos there. Okay. Uh, modding. We should have a ton of this stuff. I don't think I have the right suppressor for that, right? No. I kind of would like to be suppressed. We should have a ton of these things. Oh, that's a fun one. It's like a good all-in-one for... Uh, what we're doing. Gotta get a laser for that. Let's make sure that assembles. Okay. And then we are nighttime here, and I do plan on using NVGs. So maybe that guy? Excellent. So let's just make sure we grab a light. Which, I, maybe they're not still bugged. I don't know. Hopefully they're not. And then keeping that, keeping that. I think we're getting rid of the rest of those. That's kind of fun that those fit in there. Going to still wear this armor. It is heavy. But I would like to not die immediately to Sherman and crew. If Sherman's up. Actually put these on there. Okay, and then we gotta find some mags for this bad boy. Which we should have a decent amount of. I want I kinda wanna unload all the ammo and see what we have. I should do that at some point. Like unload every single mag we have now that we have the four ammo boxes. Man, we have two of those 60 rounder drum mags? Cool. I didn't know we had two of them. Also, yeah, taking stock of mags is not a bad thing either. 
not gonna do it just yet. Let's most of these should be PS, which is fine, because we can use that to craft PP, which again is perfectly reasonable round to use. Wherever it stacks first. And what do we have here? Yeah, we got we got PP, we've got BT, we've got BS, we've got BP. Let's just use BP. We've been really kind of getting a lot of this junk. Okay, save that for later. That goes there. These go here. I do want to keep some amount of rounds with us. So we'll just do that. Still got these two to mark, uh, but we need to get some NVGs going here. Um, you know what? I might run. I kind of, I kind of feel like running these. Uh, but well, yeah, no, for Sturman. Uh, sometimes they go for headshots, but sometimes they miss. All right, let's just do that. Oops, hit the console key. Uh, maybe a grenade to shake them up. My control key's messed up. There we go. Uh, all right, good stuff. Cool. Let's hop. Into that nighttime wood trade. I'll see y'all in there. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, this is what? Swamp spawn? Where am I? Why don't I recognize these buildings? I think this is swamp spawn. No, these are... This is sniper area. No. This is village spawn. All right. Everything clicked into place. I, whoo. Okay. We're good. Everything's good. <laughs> oh, man. I really got turned around there for a second. All right. I think there's a decent chance of sodium spawns in these. I don't actually know if the sodium can take up a food spawn. I genuinely do not know. Wrench. Sure. Trace for a shotgun takes up almost no space. Was that the only dirty gambler? Yes, yes. Do we have a confused pine emote? Not at the moment. Doesn't sound like a bad one, though. Hackers. Augmented's good for crafting stuff. There's a drill and a broken LCD. Okay. I think you need a lot of drills for something in the future. I just don't remember what. Minimum it trades for a uh, 9 mil suppressor, which is nice. Is this one open? Thanks for tuning in, Twitch and YouTube. Appreciate you both. Hmm. Those are both pretty good. TX15 barter. And uh, the Calic barter. Colac barter, whatever it's called. Hang on one second, everybody. Oops. All right. Sorry about that. I was wondering why uh, Cora, I, when I picked up Cora for Twitch, if you were here for that Twitch, it was on the recording, but her butt was uh, wet. I was like, why? Ugh, gross. <laughs> Apparently she said a throw up. <laughs> so Lady Putty came in with a disgusted face to tell me that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and gross. And hashtag cats for sure. I think wherever sugar can spawn, it can spawn, but I could be wrong on that. Can anybody in chat back me up on that? Feels like it's a replacement for sugar. Or I feel like it should be a replacement for sugar. I guess you can eat sugar, but you can't eat sodium bicarbonate, so maybe not. BP? Holy smokes. We're not running out of ammo yet. EWR there. That's nice. Use, 
use. I mean, they trade. They trade. So I will take it. Not mean to reload. But here we are. All right. How are we heading over to the center? I think we actually need to go over to the plane crash to mark the other barrels. And then we'll scoot up along the mountainside and we'll get these, the, you know, the marking tasks done. And then we'll go center. And then I kind of want to head over to ZB-14 and loot that as well for fuel. Or for potential fuel. Haven't heard a peep all game, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, we didn't hear anything last round either. And somebody had looted. So, everybody's running suppressors at the minimum today, or these days. As long as you're taking out the scabs where they shoot at you, you're good. I actually, so in Pestley's video about, like, suggestions he had, I really like the idea of, like, making everything one time slot, but then they're staggered. So, like, it's nighttime on interchange while daytime on customs type of thing, right? I think that actually would work really well. And also, it would scoop people around to other maps, right? Because some people really don't like playing nighttime if they can help it. So, they they can't just be on customs daytime all the time, right? They can go... They have to go to daytime somewhere else. I really like that thought. next season of hardcore I, this is what i'm in the mood for right now but i don't know man it got so annoying towards the end of it but having that map traversing rule that we had that was so fun at the start but then it just got annoying in particular for the guide although we did do the guide with that with that rule in place we had to survive like a map, two maps like several times in order to get to all the maps. There were there was technically less maps though. Uh, past it. So I don't know. It was a fun one. Uh, this is nine mil rip, right? Yeah, nine mil rip's fine. I think I prefer PST, but I'm going to have a flesh damage. You want that, of course. I think that's a actual thing I can loot. Really just looking for fuel here. BT as well. Holy smokes. Plus 240 fantastic bullets. Sure. Don't need to eat quite yet. Okay. Take that. I don't have room for that helmet. We already have one of those back at the base as well. That is a solid one. I don't think I can like slap onto it right now. I don't think we need this. There was a trade we needed with that. I don't remember what it was though. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I'm awake, Gankle. Thank you for the 369 for the grenade. <sighs> yep, I'm awake. 
All right, let's go up to spine, sniper scav, and then sensor. That was very well timed for exiting the bunker, yeah. It was indeed. It was indeed. If it's still my time when we get out of this raid, I might go hit up um, customs. With this kit, I just try to get that marked room. You know, hopefully somebody's like, ah, marked rooms are buffed. Let's go do it. And then, yeah. <sighs> Should be some scabs around here. Something's moving over here. Almost sounded like a rock move, though. Oh, make that jump. There we go. Thank you. Is a scav. If it is a scav. Well, either way, I gotta go plant these things. The fact that I haven't heard any sounds makes me think it might be a person. Scav things. Couldn't tell you. Now, nighttime scavs are supposed to have better loot as well. Hey, Blood of War Part 3 is done. Let's go. Not that it's like the most difficult thing in the world, but. Took me a few raids, so happy that's finished. There we go. Not what I meant to do. I to turn that off. <laughs> Kit. What a kit. What an absolute house of a kit, you know? Alright. Let's do this. Take that.
So I can go hop over to here first. Look for a Ledex, look for... Yeah, let's do that. Let's look for the Ledex, look for that. There's, there are sodium spawns here as well. There's double bags, all that kind of stuff. Then we'll go to center. I don't think Sturman's up. Because the route I want to go is, like, cut across Lumber Camp to the the double the double rock there, and then over to Medcar, so I can try to avoid the cultists. That's the goal, at any rate. Duffle under here as well. Yeah, there is. No worries, Nightshade nice dude. Sorry it took so long. Oh, put that on there. Nice. Oh, I got that guy? No way. I did not feel like I got the, the second one there. First one was fairly clean. So many 206 keys, which is, I guess, fine, but so many. All right. Let's loot it up. Let's see what we got. know if we need those. Those are part of a trade for a weapon case, I want to say. I don't know if we're getting to that, though. That did some other trade besides the key tool. Alright, let's also, um... Snack down here. Make some room. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's a medical supply crate. What the heck? Why? What? Why is there? Oh, the I, for some reason I thought that was a seasoning. <laughs> that would make sense. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I thought that was a seasoning and not water purification tablets. Kind of funny. I think the sodium can spot in these. I could be wrong on that though. Uh, let's definitely eat that. Definitely don't need those. I don't think we need these. That's like fine. Crafting sugar is fine, not great. loot up here too much because usually in the daytime it's like super dangerous to do so um hmm yeah i think i, I think i want that over a uh over this more beat you know shoots the right bullets you know much BT. Right, I 
I think we got most of that. Hey, oh, I don't know why. Don't I'm on edge. So. My dad asked me to name a country with no R in it. I said, no way. <laughs> no way. Uh, killing me. Absolutely killing me. Thank you for the 100 bits. I think it sells all right. Water. Oh, that's a that's a fuel. That's a fuel. Nice. PBM. We'll grab. Yeah, the skier has a trade. I think it's six, six beers for a fuel, six pack for some fuel. So I'll happily, happily take that. Uh, what is it time to get rid of here? We're just drinking that. I think that's gone. That's gone. Drink that. Them eyes peeled for the butt X's. No, no loose spawns, which means this may have been looted. Or just this area may have been looted. As somebody was going in, yeah. Seems likely. Hit this one. Okay. Sodium? Please? More chlorine. There's a condensed milk. Those are good. Hot rods are fine. Alright, well, it's good loot, but not what we need. Pretty classic. And let's hop into the center here. 18 minutes ago. Should be just enough time. Hopefully. car loot down there. But yeah, we'll go hit the Sturman, Sturman Hut, or whatever it is. Head on over to the three cabins. And then shoot on over to the main building. And then we'll go out to the right. And then to the left to the uh, cross bar. Uh, we're not taking this out. Again, I always said it. Whenever we bring it in, we're never going to take it out. You know. Oh, that sounds okay. I think I want to get rid of for that. Probably a wrench. Another eye case would, would be fine, you know? I would like that. I think we're actually good on those. Funny enough. That's pretty good. Coffee's definitely worth. Uh... Really use the Vaseline all that much. Got all the morphines. Puts us closer to another fuel. We'll take that. Another blue fuel to be specific. Hey, Doozy Official, appreciate you lurking about. Thank you so much. Yeah, 
We love all the lurkers here. Well, I'm terrible. Okay. Why did a player scav? I don't, know. I don't actually know though. What, a, what an interesting bit of loot there. Let's see what their bags tell us. Carrying bandage. No, that can all spawn in there. Yeah, that might have been just a regular old scav. Huh. Weird. Trace for something. We do have a bunch of um, tri-zip barters backed up. We should start using those, to be honest. In fact, I should use those over these beta bags, because these actually technically net your space. Feels like the loot here has been a lot less. Like, those used to be, like, Super stacked, it feels like. Uh, alright, we don't need this. I don't really need this. We could just wear it, though. It's, like, annoying, but fine. Don't really need the chocolate. It's one of those it's nice but not necessary things. Same with this guy. Those are both fantastic. We do, however, want this. And we do want... Just the SAS. Honestly, I think I'd rather have the... Money over the two uses of a splint. Z wallet. Nothing in it though. Darn. I mean they're worth 25k, so it's just like even if we sell it, it's still worth. Uh man, I don't know. I guess we get rid of the now nah, we'll get rid of the chocolate. None of that. Two oh nine. Again, once we have the fuel, we can start working towards our uh, our gunsmith. Which would be nice. What did you have in there? FMJs. Okay. No thanks. No thank you. Let's go here. Buyer steal, huh? It's just gonna be a money run at this point. My goodness. Just drink that on the way out. Why not? And nothing. It's also worth a decent amount here, too. Yeah, and like I said, I wouldn't say no to another eye case. That'd be nice. No. Oh, yes, please. Oh, also yes, please. Also yes, please. What the heck, dude? 
Okay, well, that can go under there. That's fantastic. You're not worth a lot. You're not worth too much. Definitely want this. I think I'm getting rid of those. I think we're drinking that. That's going there. Oh, that's already opened, right? Uh, then we're doing you. 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 For this and this. Right? This is for SVDS? Yeah. I think that looks good. Oh, jeez. Escape once too many times. Well, there's our packet losses. I don't know if that's the timing for packet losses here. Something tells me no, it's a little bit too late to the raid, but you never know. Hey, Bogus, how are you? Oh, there's our red timer. That lines up pretty well. There's an L, L can. I'm like super set on that. That said, though. That can go on either of those. Maybe on this thing. No. I think we're really set on those. We have SSDs to trade for those as well. I think that just sells well enough to grab. And it's looking like we're not going to be getting our sodium, but that's okay. These things are packed, dude. Oh, yeah. Another Triton. I don't think I can make that work with the uh, contacts. It would it would net us some space, but... Short barrel. Not going anything. Goes on that. That's interesting. There's a 104. Oh, this is the 545, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do the 104. Do this. It's wild to me that that goes on there. Uh, we have that already, so I, I'm actually going to grab this. Perfect. It saves us a spot. Can't be worrying about this. It's okay. We can we can we can afford to lose a mag here. All right, let's go. It's red timer pie, and that's true. That's true. We gotta be we gotta be a little bit quick here, just in case we get held up by something. Oh, see, I didn't do this. So somebody else was on the map. They didn't loot their kill though. I don't think. Well, somebody took him out, you know. Super quiet. Which means there's a good chance this is looted in front of us as well. Uh, but the quest exit was um, the powered powered extract on customs. Was that them there? I think it's just a pilgrim scav. Also, I am missing my headshots. Hella bad. Seven minutes here? Let me cut it a little close. We also we we do have a strength increaser, right? Yeah, we have the SA six here. I'm gonna skip the weapons. Just do the filing cabinets for keys. Backpack boy. Not too bad of stuff. Hmm. 
I'm gonna save that in case we get the pistol. Is this a juice? No, crackers. Bandage. Now, if everything goes to plan here, ZB14 will be open and we can just leave. Or ready for extract, we can just leave. If not, it's not too much further past that. Alright, good. It's shifting to daytime, which is good because this is this will be our last night raid here. I think I am going to take this. Might be a little bit of a waste, but... We kind of need that stamina recovery here. I mean, I can also shed some weight here, too. That's probably a lot. I have no idea if we shed enough weight for us to re regen both. The SJ6 also let us run forever, which is really nice. And again, if ZB14 is open, this is all easy, easy. If it's not, that's okay. And it's not. Classic. We got four minutes here, though. We should be alright. It's going to take like 60 seconds to get to the other side there. We just want to check for sodium, which I think can spawn on these. In the 60s. Or at least it feels like I've seen them in there. I don't know. This is light and it's worth stuff. I think the motor is part of a trade as well, but I'm not going to worry about it. Why can't I jump right now? Hello? I don't, I don't know why I can't jump right now. I guess there's a rock technically above me. Being weird. Those would be good. That means next... Um, Next raid, we can bring our sniper rifle back in and go for those long-range kills. We could just bring in this AK with our sniper rifle, right? Like, we are allowed to bring in double gun. It's just heavy to do that. So... I should have kept the stuff because it doesn't look like we're gaining our stamina back. But. We should be just fine here. Oh. Maybe make sure this is our extract. Okay. Whew. I've done that before where I'm like two minutes and... Got to make sure we get the right extract. We we spawn in the we spawn in the uh, village. So <laughs> that would have been awkward. We could probably go. We probably have enough time to go get that cash. Probably not the duffel or the dead scav, but that's okay. Our SJ six or oh, our SJ six just ran out, so we actually probably don't have enough time to do that. So, perfectly happy using all of the woods time here. Got some decent loot. We did get the last beer, which is a, you know, is a fuel trade, which would be really good. So, big GGs. We'll start to be able to craft the 74N for gunsmith part, whatever we're on, um, among other things. We'll be able to craft more SMB rounds as well, which is a really big deal for... Uh, SVD kills. I think I said that already. Anyway. Nice. Good stats. Good stats. All right. I think we are on the saving this plan still. Oh, we, you know what we can do right away? Let's trade for that um, let's trade for that fuel right away. We got to sell these as well. That'll save us a ton of room in those. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's go hide out. 
think I have a mag box chilling in the hideout. I just haven't grabbed it. Um, I think we actually kind of need the room for it, but we'll see how that goes. All right, generator. We have we have the room for these, but we'll just leave them in there for now. All right, turn that back on. Oh, can I put it in a fresh one? Interesting. Huh. All right, I definitely want to get these going, but also piles of beds going. Let's do these because they're shorter. I want to fix up the uh, fix up the hemostatics. There's a fine line between the numerator and denominator. Also, thanks mods slash DP smile. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Appreciate you. This has a barter, but also is used to like level up something. The Kinect Smoke with the Sugar is actually really good as well. We could do this one. That would get us to that M1A. Could also just make the sugar. Let's just make the sugar because I'm being indecisive here. And then this one. We should have. Yes. Enough parts to make the 74N. So in an hour and 20, we'll be able to work on the... We'll be able to work on that, which will be really good. What's the solar power take? A bunch of aces, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's all done. And we still need... Yeah, still need the nutrition unit stuff. Uh, I'm going to grab that. Even if we do end up selling it and see what else we can craft here. Make a lot of soap. Could make a filter. We don't have that installed yet either. Well, that's kind of fun that you could do it that way. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Don't really need those. Yeah, we're, one, we're two short away now. We have one in our inventory right now. We'll just do that, I guess. All right. Everything's crafting. That's good. That is good. That. That. And I wanted to save these because, they again, they barter for something really nice uh, later. So. I've got a lot of stuff to work on here, uh, YouTube. I'm going to get cleaned up. Get all this cleaned up. Um... By the time we're ready to go back and raid, yeah, by the time we're ready to go back and raid, we're going to probably pop back on this uh, this woods kit again, this sniper rifle. No idea what we're going to do in tandem with it. Maybe like a like maybe like a shorty or something like that that shoots decent bullets. Um, or even like this, I'll slap like a loud suppressor or loud, make it loud. Um, but just have something for a back as a backup weapon for close quarters. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Try to get some try to get some kills. I really do like this site. This site's quite nice. Uh, for scanning and whatnot. Um, I wouldn't say no to having it on there as well. But uh, yeah, going to get this uh, organized, sold up, all that good stuff and more. But thanks so much for tuning in. Um, kind of kind of low-key raids, but that's okay. We got some stuff back. We got some fuel, which is a big deal. Um, we got grenades. We got a ton of ammo out of that raid. Even though we had a bunch of this ammo already, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so all that and more. Even, even those PS rounds are really good, you know? Um, we made some money. We're going to try to save up the, the 2.5 mil or whatever it is for another eye case, which would be good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get cleaned up and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Big shout out to all those subbing to the channel. Really appreciate that. We're getting really close to that 1K subs. Uh, we actually may have hit it by this episode uh, or we may not have though. Um, we'll see. Um, and uh, big shout out to all those sharing their primes in the Twitch chat, all the Patreon members, all the channel members. Well, no channel members yet. All the future channel members. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for just watching. It's the best and foremost way to support all the content that I produce here and on the other YouTube channels as well. So you're all amazing. Bye-bye.